release is not part of the duties of a speaker. To decide where an MP should sit in parliament is not my duty. That determination in Ghana's situation, in various parliaments, these things we are talking about, majority side, minority side, don't exist any longer. That's why in my ruling, I use the term old school. The British model, government opposition, benches, and a carpet in between them. And so when you are shifting your political leaning, you have to cross that carpet to the other side. And that is why you have the term carpet crossing. Our parliament is not arranged in the form of government and opposition. And Ghana don't like the term opposition. So we decided to adopt the terms from the United States of America, majority and minority. So you can even sit anywhere. <laughs> but the numbers determine who is majority and who is minority. But in our parliament, the practice is for those who constitute majority to sit at the right side of the speaker. And those who constitute minority to sit at the left side of the speaker. That is because after independence in 1957, we adopted the Westminster system, which is practiced in the United Kingdom. But we changed that, even to the extent that the arrangement of the floor of the house is in the horse shoe. So it's not always the case that the people to the left side are all members of minority. That's not the case now. And there's good reason behind this. As in the textbooks, the determination, therefore, in our situation, as to who constitutes majority or minority, is a question of numbers. As to where they sit is the determination first of the political parties who influence who should lead the caucus or party wing in parliament. They, after various consultations, decide that these five people should occupy these positions in leadership. And so they are giving the chairs in front. Then in consultation with them, the five leaders, they determine who should sit behind them. Because as a leader, you need somebody that you have trust, confidence in, who has the capacity, so that when you are in, in some difficulty, or you have a challenge, you can just lean over and listen to his or her whisper. So you have a say as to who sit behind you. The speaker is not involved in this one. The whips, particularly the chief whips, lead in trying to identify who should sit behind. And it also has to do with years of experience in the house and also the issue of gender and other professional backgrounds until you get to those who are at the back. Even though we don't sit on benches, we still use the term back benches. The speaker is not involved in this. After they have agreed on it, they then get in touch with the parliamentary service through the clerk, who will get his uh, uh, officer at the table, together with the marshal, and they will get the names, print them, and place them on the various tables as decided by the various caucuses. The speaker don't come in this. Please, how can you call speaker to come and decide where people should sit? 
It's not part of my duties. 